Hello, everyone. I'm Robert Kemeny with Network Consulting Services, Incorporated. Today, I'd like to show you how to leverage neurons, Avanti's neurons, Teams, Bots integration. So we'll talk about how to set up the requirements for using the Microsoft Teams interaction and messaging stages within Neurons Bots. Okay, so as a prerequisite, we need to have the Entra ID connector created. So if we go down on the left-hand side after you've logged into your Neurons console, and in this case, I already have it set up, but let's take a look at it for our connectors. We need to have our Entra ID connector created. And so let's talk a little bit about how to get that done. So if we log into our uh, admin center for Entra ID, once you log into your tenant, if you look at your admin centers, uh, you can select the Entra admin center. And within the Entra Admin Center, um, we need to create a new application registration. So we can look for applications on the left, select App Registrations, and then we can click New Registration. In my case, I already have one set up, so we'll talk through that. Uh, within the application registration, we do need to create um, an application ID uh, that, that will automatically be created when we do this application. We need to note the a client ID, the object ID, the directory ID, and we do need to create certificates, which will give us um, uh, a, a secret. When we create that, we're going to get the value that you uh, need to note um, and the secret ID, which are your corresponding pairs that we'll put into our configuration. Uh, and then once you have noted these and created these new client secrets and, and have the information in terms of our uh, application ID and directory ID that we'll need, um, back in our Neurons connector, um, we select cloud because it is tenant to tenant. We put in those values for our client ID and application ID. Uh, there'll be a spot in here for your credentials where we can put in uh, the secret um, value that needs to go in there and then some data filters if those are appropriate for you. Uh, Teams relies on this connector and having that correct credential um, listed here for us to be able to leverage Teams. At any point, we need to update those credentials or they change. Uh, on the left-hand side, we do have the credentials menu where we can come in and update that credential. Uh, we have that intra ID here. Uh, and then you notice it really just takes us back to that screen where we can click update if we need to do that. Okay. So once we've created the Entra connector and we have that uh, app registration created here, we need to make sure that we give it the appropriate API permissions um, for us to leverage the team's bots. Uh, there are quite a few here in mine, uh, as you can use a single app registration for multiple integrations of um, Avanti neurons, whether that be for ITSM, um, uh, if we're doing things with Intune or Office 365 in terms of connectors and information. Uh, but for Teams alone, uh, we will need this particular set of permissions. So application read all, audit read all, audit log read all, device read all, et cetera. So these are the, the minimum permissions that we'll need in our API um, uh, permissions in the Entra setup. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, make sure that at least those minimums are in here. If you need others for the other connectors, uh, that is okay as well. Uh, once we have that done, we need to make sure that our, our status is that we've granted admin consent for all of these uh, API permissions. Um, and then we'll <clears throat> save that. And once that's done, we have that connector uh, in neurons. Um, we'll be able to proceed with the Teams bots configuration uh, enabling us to message for Teams. Uh, so the next step after creating this app registration for Entra ID is from our admin center, we need to pick our Teams admin center. And within the Teams admin center, we want to make sure that we've installed our Avanti Neurons bots. So how do we do that? Uh, if on the left-hand side from our Teams admin center, uh, we can go to the Teams apps and we can go to Manage Apps. Uh, and um, <clears throat> we can 
search for that Avanti app and make sure that we uh, add that in. <clears throat> so we go to the setup policies here on the left uh, and we say add. And we click on add apps and we'll be able to search here by name, Avanti. And we'll see that we have the Avanti Neurons bots and you'll select the appropriate bot for your region. In my case, it's gonna be for Americas. And when we select that, we'll have the opportunity here to add. As I've already done that, I don't need to do it here, uh, but you can click add here. <clears throat> I'll just click cancel for the moment, discard. Uh, and then we'll be prompted to save that configuration once that's done. Okay, so assuming that we have the uh, API permissions correctly configured for our connector in uh, the Entra ID and that we've added our app here in our Teams Admin Center, um, the next step is to create a bot that leverages that Teams integration. So we can come into the Neurons console and we can look at our bots. Uh, in my case, I have some that I've already created and so we'll just kind of walk through what that looks like. Uh, within the Teams, uh, excuse me, within the bot, we can add a Teams interaction section now since we've configured that connector. Uh, in my case, for the interaction here, we're going to prompt for a question of whether they'd like to see a message or not. And then following our logic, uh, our, our logic flow within our bots, um, we present a button uh, and then they can choose from that interaction and display a subsequent team message for them. Uh, that's pretty simple and pretty easy for us to get started. Uh, if you'd like to reach out for more information, please contact uh, NCSI. Or if you like the video and like to see more in-depth bots or know a little bit more about the, the Entra connector, please reach out and message us as well. Thanks and have a great day.